beauty. Okay, I, I like that. I'm going to try that. I'm going to have a look at that. Then Hey guys, it's me Tazzy and welcome back to another episode of a Vlog of VC Student. Now in today's episode I'm going to be talking about the big thing that's going on at the moment for people who are going into year 11, year 12, year 10 and have no idea what to do and that is subject selection. Now for me when I approached year 10 and I'm just like okay I want to do a VC subject in year, in year 10 and year 11 so I have one off the books and I have that extra 10% to go towards my study or my ATAR. And so basically I, I went to the subject selections and I'm just like, do geography, did geography, didn't do that great, but nonetheless I did geography and I chose it because I loved it. Um, what I'm going to start with today is you need to have a general idea of what you're going to be doing. So you don't want to approach it going, I have no idea what I'm doing. A lot of people do approach like, I don't know what I'm going to do after school, I'm, I'm really crazy, but this is where it it really comes in handy doing your research. So write down what you're interested in, you know, maybe you like art, or maybe you like cake decorating, maybe you enjoy, I don't know, doing tradey stuff, maybe you enjoy helping your dad clean the house, I don't know what you enjoy to do. But write those things down and then see what sort of, what, what they link to to the subjects at your school. From there you can generally like, figure out what sort of, how your activities connect with the subjects that you want to do and how those subjects are going to help. By having a general idea of what you want to do, say you want to do after school, maybe you want to go to uni, maybe you want to go to TAFE, don't really care, that's your choice, but basically you have to make the decision, okay, do I want to be a tradie? If I want to be a tradie, what sort of subjects would I need for that? And you'd have to do that sort of research. Um, maybe you want to be an astronaut, you know, I don't know what um, sort of subjects you need, but I'd imagine, you know, biology, chemistry, physics, uh, specialist maths, um, and maybe, oh, and English as well, because you have to do English in year 11 and 12. Um, or A English, so English literature, English language, either one. But you want to have a general idea of what sort of subjects you would need, and from there you can go with them. For me, when I approached year 11 and year 10, I knew, okay, I'm going to join the Defence Force. That's what I'm going to do. I need to pass a VCE if I want to be an officer. Oh, I need to pass year 12 if I want to be an officer, or I can drop out at year 10. Dropping out at year 10 was definitely not an option for me. My parents would have killed me if I dropped out. Uh, they would have actually, they wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been, been able to get to that point in time. They would have been like, nope, you guys aren't, le you, you're not leaving. You got to finish year 12. But basically, from there, you got to figure out what do you want to do. Do you want to do VCAL road, and then there's the VCE road. Now, I can't really tell you if you want to go to the VCAL road, what you should do, what you should choose, because I don't. I've never done VCAL. Some of my best friends did VCAL, but I haven't done it myself. And then there's the VCE road, and that's the one I'm going to be talking about, and the subjects for that. So apart from having a general idea of what you want to do, um, it should. You should be searching the courses that you would think that you would want to do. So for me, I've been searching paramedics, I've been searching nursing, midwifery, that sort of thing. And I've been making sure that I'm keeping my eyes open for all sorts of courses. So not only the emergency healths, I've been looking at um, design and technology, um, computer ga gaming um, creation, uh, what else, writing, professional writing, looked a bit into that as well. So you need to be able to look into everything that maybe catches your eye. If there's something in the title that goes beauty, okay, I, I like that, I'm going to try that, I'm going to have a look at that, then then have a look at it, see what um, they require to get into that course, and and put that into your little like document or page or something that you have with everything relating to subject selection. From there, you're going to choose what subjects from, from what they what's in that page. Now, it's all good and well to go, okay, I need to have... Um, textiles, I need to have studio art, and I need to have um, food and I don't know, music and English, and, and that's good. And it's all well and good to, to have um, those subjects down and go, yep, those are the ones I'm going to do. But you also got to think, are you going to enjoy them? So I had this thing at the end of year 11 that I love studio art so much. 
but I knew I wouldn't do a decent effort for the whole year. My It would be up and down the whole year. I couldn't put in that 120% that whole year for studio arts that is needed. And you need to um, see, yeah, you'll enjoy it, but will you put that effort in? Um, and if you don't enjoy it, then don't choose it. Because if you don't enjoy it, then you're not going to get do any well in it, you know? So for me, I ended up choosing health, so health and human development, uh, physical education, English language, uh, psychology, and further maths. Now, those two subjects that I really regret choosing. Um, I don't need a maths for my for my course that I want to do, but it was suggested that you have a maths. I am really struggling with year 12 further maths, and that might make me sound like a complete noob, but I just, some of the content in there is ridiculous. The only reason I really chose it is because I knew I'd enjoy ge uh, geometry and trigonometry because I do really well on it. But the other subjects, financial maths, data analysis, I'm sitting there going, <laughs> So, um, it was a bad choice on my behalf, but there's nothing I can do about it now. The second one that I really, really regret doing is English language. Now, I thought, okay, this subject is going to be good, it's going to be a change, it's going to give me some something new, and it gets marked up, study school-wise. Um, the biggest issue I have around English language is that it's very, very, very content-heavy. If you're good at remembering content, then English language is the subject for you. But for me, along with health, psychology, who are also content heavy, and PE, I really struggled. I to str I really struggled to remember things that I need to for English language, and it's cost me in in the scores area. I haven't been getting great scores. I think the highest score I've got is like a 57 percent, which is shocking. I've passed all of them, but I haven't done any well in them. Um, and even though it does get marked up, if you can't do any good in it, then that maybe two points that it gets marked up is worth nothing. So my main thing when you're choosing subjects is to make sure that it goes towards this maybe what you want to do outside of school, but also to make sure you enjoy it. Because if you don't enjoy it, you're not going to do well in it. And if you don't do well in it, no matter how much it gets marked up or marked down, it's all going to be worthless. So make sure that you guys enjoy your subjects that you choose. Enjoy this time that you have to actually sort out what subjects you want to do. And just generally go from there. This is my information, how I approach it. And what I've learnt from my time in year 11 and 12. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any issues um, choosing your subjects. And I'll see what I can do to help you. And just generally share this with your buddies who might also be struggling with their subject selection. My name is Tazzy and I'm signing out. Peace.